this video we are going to perform Liebermann's nitrosamine reaction. This is a reaction for secondary amine. If your unknown sample contains secondary amine group, we can identify that secondary amine group by doing this Liebermann's nitrosamine reaction. So for this reaction we need chemical dosa sodium nitrate dilute hydrochloric acid DCM also known as dichloromethane and pinol concentrate sulfuric acid here I'm going to use 98% uh, conch sulfuric acid and 10% sodium hydroxide uh, for the reaction I am going to use N-methyl anilin as our secondary amine okay first we need to add uh, our test sample here I'm, I'm going to add N-methyl anilin I'm going to add about 5 drops all right that is enough so now we need to add about 5 milliliters of dilute hydrochloric acid. No need to measure. When we add hydrochloric acid, the N-methyl aniline dissolves in the hydrochloric acid. Now we need to add about 5 drops of sodium nitrate. Okay, now we need to add about 1 milliliter dichloromethane, also known as DCM. In the addition of DCM, we can uh, see a layer separation. Now we need to decant the aqueous layer and collect the DCM layer. Okay, uh, using a glass dropper, we can remove this aqueous layer like this all right uh, now our dcm is here uh, now we need to wash this dcm layer with some distilled water now i am going to add a little amount of distilled water again and mix it and again we need to remove this uh, water layer and uh, we need to evaporate this DCM to evaporate the DCM we can place this uh, test tube in a boiling water bath after few minutes we can see our DCM is evaporating and we can observe a thick oil like layer in the Tube. Okay, after operating DCM, you can uh, see our sample like this. Now we need to add some penol. If you have penol crystals, you can add a crystal of penol. So here I don't have a penol crystal, so I have a liquid. So I'm going to add about two drops of penol. Okay, that's enough. So now we need to add corn sulfuric acid along the wall of the test tube okay now you can see here I am going to add sulfuric acid in the addition of the sulfuric acid you can see a green color here if I shake this test tube Okay, here now you can see the green color clearly. Now I am going to add some distilled water. Uh, the addition of the water makes this solution red color solution. You can clearly see the red color. If we add sodium hydroxide, 10% sodium hydroxide to this solution, it will turn into deep blue color.
Now you can see here uh, the blue color. So from this video we learn about how to do the Libama nitrosamine reaction to identify secondary amine. The positive results are the if we add conch sulfuric along the wall uh, in that case we can see a green color after we dilute the solution with distilled water it gives red color then we add sodium hydroxide to the solution it turns into deep blue color in that way we can identify our sample has a secondary amine group.